What's up guys, Cole here. So today I'm doing a gear video for everything I'm bringing with me to Southeast Asia. I'm going to go through everything on the list and just talk about some other stuff regarding backpacking. So here we go. So here's an aerial shot of all the gear I'm bringing. And first and foremost, let's start with the backpack. So it's a 50 liter backpack. Um, just goes down and there's a second compartment at the bottom, but it's pretty much the same compartment. So I got my clothes over here. Got two pairs of shorts, two swimsuits, one pair of jeans. And actually the best trick I've been showed for packing and saving space for clothes is to roll everything up into tubes. So that 100% saved me space doing this and put it in Ziploc bags so it'll stay like that. And it's a good way to keep it organized. Pants, t-shirts, socks, underwear, and uh, athletic shorts just to wear at night in hostels. And also I'm just gonna wear like, all my favorite t-shirts and clothes for the next three and a half months, so that's pretty awesome. Over here, I got a bit more of my touristy stuff, but some of it's practical gear. Lock, staying at hostels, that's pretty decent. A lot of hostels have lockers and they don't always give you a lock of your own. Over here I got earplugs for swimming or just like hostels, maybe it's really loud and I need to get some sleep. Water bottle, pretty self-explanatory, gonna drink liquids out of that. USB for videos and pictures. Carabiners, uh, they're a handy little tool to have. Work for the water bottle and just other stuff on the backpack. Over here, I got a portable phone charger. It'll give up two charges to a phone, a um, case for it, and then the charger for it itself and the charger for the phone. I'm filming on the phone, so I can't really show you that. Out here, I got sunglasses case. I'm gonna buy some knockoff Gucci sunglasses when I'm there. Kind of hype about that glass cleaner and then a fabric sunglass place as well. Hair ties. I'm gonna make these five last the entire trip. I think I can totally do it. Hand sanitizer and just like a little weird thing at the bottom. I don't really know. I don't think that is really weird actually. It goes through here but it's not really that practical. I'm gonna stop complaining about this uh, up here. Little like thing for papers and all that. Uh, just keep them dry and safe important documents I'm having there. I'm looking forward to a lot and I've heard of a lot about but I haven't had the chance to do it yet is the travel journal. So we got a decent leather one and just record what I do and just write down ideas and thoughts. I'm excited to get this going. I'll probably make a video about travel journey, journaling as I'm over there. And then I'm just gonna let it slide, whatever. I uh, got my cheesy uh, bookmark, because I felt like it, and I got the book I'm going to read while I'm over there, The Alchemist. I'm really excited, I've heard only good things about this book, and it's about chasing your dreams, and that's pretty much what I'm doing with this trip, so it's fun to read that. Over here, I got a bit more travel tools, like zip off bags, and brown dryer sheets, dirty clothes, and just keeping things organized, zip blocks. That. Next playing cards. Don't know if I'll actually use those, but maybe we'll have them. Money belt. Not to rob. Got some gum here. Five gum. Green. RFID protection. Uh, so it protects your bank cards from getting scanned or just stuff like that over there. Um, yeah. Here we got my medicine so I don't die. Got my malaria pills. <laughs> Don't want to lose these. And be smart about taking them. Got a little pill thing. Um, so this is pretty self explanatory. Advil, also pretty self explanatory. Polysporin, really good to have in case you get a cut or a scratch over there. Just cover it up so you don't die. Band aids and sanitizer. Over here, got shower stuff. So, two in one conditioner and shaving gel. And I didn't go the travel size, but I'm there for three and a half months, so I figure I could probably take a chunk out of this, so I may as well just bring the full size. Uh, actual toiletry bag, so sunscreen, so I don't burn my white skin. Toothpaste, Thieves toothpaste. It tastes horrible, but it's really like effective. I like it. Our facial sunscreen, Get stronger stuff. Got a comb, long hair, toothbrush. 
Josh. in the airport. Apparently it's just handy for, uh, it's also kind of good for rain. This is that. I'm talking about rain. Got my rain jacket and my head tube headband. In case I have to go all Rambo, I'm ready. Uh, and then the shoes I will be wearing for most of the time are these comfy slip-on sandals. Oh my god, I just noticed that. Holy crap, there's a bottle opener on the bottom of these. I didn't even know that was a feature. Holy crap. <laughs> I'm really hype about that bottle opener I will never use. <laughs> you don't know, think about it, my Rambo gear and my uh, bottle opening with slip-on sandals. That really doesn't go together for the whole Rambo idea. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that's everything. I think I covered everything in the pile, but that's what I'm bringing. So one more piece of travel advice, something else that I did right before I leave. Canceling just bills that you don't need to pay. They so like phone bill, you know, using your phone back in Canada or America or wherever you're from. You can talk to your phone provider and they'll set something up. Or even like car insurance. I'm not going to be driving my car when I'm over there, so why should I pay car insurance? Um, like $200, $300, like I'll be spending on those unnecessary bills will go a lot farther over in Cambodia and Thailand and Vietnam than it will just for something I'm not using back home, so put in the effort to cancel those bills, and it's worth it, and then just reactivate them when you get home, but that's the last bit of advice, all the year, see you guys later.